Welcome, you have reached review time with Imperial. Today's review is Borat 2. Subsequent movie film. Let's get into it. So, um, Borat, this is the follow-up film um, to the 2006 comedy centering on the real-life adventures of fictional... Kazak television journalist named Borat. Now, you're either going to like uh, Borat or you're not. Um, controversial. Does stuff that's out of control, over the top. Some people might find it funny. Some people might find it offensive. Uh, the actor is uh, Sacha Baron Cohen. He... Uh, I had a, a few other movies. He played in um, Talladega Nights with Will Ferrell. And um, he played as like the uh, the European um, car race um, guy. Uh, he also played in that other movie with um, Jason Statham. So he had a other few films. Either you're going to like the way he uh, his comedy is or you're not. So this film... Uh, takes off where he is um, he was since the last film he was pit in jail and take now he's been taken out he's supposed to deliver a package to the US to the um, v, um, VP and he's supposed to deliver a monkey to the VP and he finds out that uh, he has a daughter that's been locked in this cupboard in the back and she hasn't been um, taking it to be someone's wife and she's supposed to be 15 on the film and wherever country he's from the women don't have no rights they are treated like um, animals and kept in cages so he don't really respond to his daughter so he ends up going to the US before he goes into the U.S., he's injected with some. Now you hear he go through all these different adventures that he goes to trying to deliver this uh, monkey to the VP of the United States. And so in the process of that, the monkey has to get delivered. When he thinks the monkey's going to be delivered, it's his daughter. And, of course, where she's from, she's nowhere modernized like the u.s um women are so the adventures start with her meeting with different people he's going to try to groom her to get delivered to um pence since the monkey um since she ate the monkey so it's a whole bunch of different things that he go through and different people that are actual like um instagram influencers and so I think he has paid some of these people to just be on film and then they just go with the flow of everything. And all this is film, so you don't know, do these people know who he is? And it shows him walking, at one point, walking around the town and uh, people do recognize him. Now his uh, daughter's name is Tutor. And her, the actress' name is Maria Bakalova. And, of course, his name is Borak. And those are the two main people. So it's a whole bunch of different ventures. He gets on the Democrats. He gets on the Republicans. He, um, ex I don't want to say expose. He highlights a lot of the things that you already read on the um, Internet about uh, the Democrats and about the Republicans. And he dresses up at like Trump at one point um, and his goal is to um, get her married or get her taken by Rudy Giuliani now once it gets to that point um, now also let me bring it back it's a moment where he has his daughter to get babysit and it's a woman um, a, um, a black woman that was supposed to be babysitting his daughter and she was unemployed and I think he paid her like 3600 but she said she was duped and um, since then since the filming of this and it's launched 
people raised fifty thousand for. So um, I didn't look too deep into that. What um, exactly what happened? How she was duped? But that that's what the um, highlights said. So uh, nevertheless, I just sparked that in there. But he talks about a whole bunch of different interesting stuff that people read on the internet about the Democrats. Uh, if you watch the film, you've seen it, but I've seen this stuff on the internet already, so it's interesting. Who knows if it's true or not? But there gets a moment where his uh, daughter, Tutor, is posing as a reporter, and she gets to meet with Rudy Giuliani um, in an interview, and in the interview... Of course, she's young, um, so she's supposed to be 15 on the film. I'm not sure what's her true age. And nevertheless, uh, he's making passes at her, and she's uh, flirting with him. And then all of a sudden, uh, it says she was born in um, 1996, so that would make her, what, about um, 24? About 24? But she's playing like a 15 year old on the um, on the uh, film. That's supposed to be her age, but then she's dressed like her. When she dressed like a reporter, she dressed like a um a grown woman. Nevertheless, it's a moment in the interview with Giuliani and the, and the uh the reporter where she takes him back in a room, and he's lays on the bed and. Borak pops out like, hey, she's only 15, take me in instead, or whatever. So you're wondering, you're watching this, is this real? And you're looking, is this a, um, a actor playing as Giuliani, or is this the real person? And I'm like, so I'm, I had to run it, rewind it back. And, uh, and when I did some research, this was, this really happened. And um, he really, he explained it on um, Stephen Cohen's show that he hid in the room. They had something built. So when Giuliani's security team searched the room and everything, he it was hid in the room where they, they didn't search that. And they filmed him. And so it was just basically um, the security guy stayed in the front of the um, door to make sure nobody goes in and out. So it was really supposed to be private between Giuliani and her. So that's like spooky on both sides because, you know, you, you get to see what type stuff go on in the world. And also spooky on the, on the sense that if somebody really wanted to get him, they could have got him. And the security detail didn't even pick that up. So um, that's what the big controversial part of the film at the end and so this is um my aunt it was on amazon um video and this has to be huge um i think i've seen it where it had already like the first weekend 10 million views so it's, it's huge it's picking up steam um so i did watch it um that's pretty much the end of it and it's like you know it got its moments it depends if you like his type comedy um how you view it and whether or not. And my uh, four star rating system um, on this movie. I'm gonna get this movie um, three out of four stars. Or whatever. It, I think I think it did exactly what he was trying to do. And then at the end he said vote or you will be executed and stuff like that so i think he executed it well he he made enough noise right before the election that's coming up and um i think he hit the mark and i wouldn't be surprised if somebody gave it four out of four but i'm gonna give it three out of four stars uh subscribe to the channel like the video leave a comment tell me what you felt about it if you into this type of comedy or not till next time